Hey everyone, it's Kathy Scow from the Doodlebug Design Team, and I'm happy to be here on the Scrapbook and Cards Today YouTube channel showing how I made my fun cards for Love Week. I'm using the uh, Lots of Love collection, which is not new this year, but we brought it back to celebrate. And I just wanted to give you some ideas on how to use the collection and some fun cards to make. So if I get started, I'll get my base pieces for my first card. I have three main pieces and I created a document that shows the sizes and which papers I used. We can put that in the comment. I have my base piece, which is an A2 size, opens at the bottom. This cute heart paper and blue paper in graduating sizes. We're going to be using the Doodle Cuts uh, standalone dies, the Love Notes. They're cute envelopes, hearts, papers. I've pre-cut the pieces. Um, I cut a large envelope. I made an envelope liner, which I will show you how to put together. Cute little notebook paper. And some hugs and kisses, X's and O's. All of these papers are from the 6x6 pad. So we'll start to put together my card. I just piece together the layers using a tape runner. I'll center my first piece on the base. I love this heart paper. It's so cute. Bright and colorful and hopefully centered. And we'll add the next layer. This blue paper is great. It has a grid, so you can kind of straighten things, which I obviously am having technical difficulties with. So we'll get that on. I created a little liner for my envelope. I wanted the inside to be kind of plain. So all I did is I cut another piece and cut off all the edges. And I will just glue this inside overlapping so the inside of my envelope is a little less busy because I have other things I'm putting in that I don't want to pull the attention away from. And line this up. And to put the envelope together, it's pretty easy. Just fold in the outer flaps, put a little adhesive at the bottom of each, and then fold up and you have a little envelope. Make sure it's all tightened together. I cut a little notepad paper, again from the papers in the six by six pad, and I will add that in my envelope. And then I wanna fill my envelope with hugs and kisses, the X's and O's. So I cut them from different papers from the six by six pad, and I'll just start gluing them in uh, like they're bursting out of the envelope when you open it. And you can move these around as you want. I did some different color papers to give it a little, you know, additional color. Again, I want them to kind of look a little mishmash, like they're jumping out of the envelope. That's good. Some are hanging off and I will add this envelope to the base, sort of the upper two thirds. I'm only putting adhesive on the body of the envelope because I want the top to kind of look like it's open and give it a little dimension. Press it all down and then I'll add some more hugs and kisses, ones that came out of the envelope. And if I could pick this up, I have no fingernails. Put that one here. And put one on the envelope, I think. No, I don't want it here. 
just trying to make them look a little random. And I think they're going to end up there. I have some heart sprinkles. These are in the colors of the collection. They're Valentine colors. And I'm just going to add a few of these on for a little shine and sparkle. I love our sprinkles. They always add a little bit of shine. And they come in some really cute shapes. We have different shaped ones with most of our collections. And oh, maybe more. No, nope, not a blue one. I will end up with these on my shirt in the laundry. There's another one there. And I think one more up here. There we go. I'm going to move this one. I want to put a sentiment on my card, and I decided to use our Alphabet Soup Puffy Stickers. I'm using them in Ladybug. When I do stickers and I want them to be aligned, I have a scrap piece of um, acetate that I line them up along, and I've already done that here. I have hugs and, and they're hanging off the edges. Um, it just saves me aggravation and picking them up. I'll start with the bottom one so I know I'm leaving myself enough room. So I center kisses, I'll press them down and then just hold them down while I pull out the acetate. They're only on the very edge, so they're pretty easy to come off, as you can see from the bottom. I will fix these. You can see I have a little bit of washi tape on this acetate it's because every time I put it down I lose it so at least if it has a little color on it I can find it again um, just makes my life easier so I'll get these all aligned and good and I will center them over kisses I love the alphabet suit they're really cute they add a little dimension and Oh, fix this. And they come in all the fun doodle bug colors. Okay, get my U right. And done. Everything's down. One card down, and now we'll start on my next one. I'm using the same set of dies and the same six by six pad. And for this card, these are what I have used and the dimensions, just two layers here, the card base and a graph, graph and floral prints that I just cut a rectangle out of. I'm using the smaller envelopes for this card. I will show you those in a second. Just get the base down. There's two different size envelopes on the dies. Centered. Perfect, maybe, maybe not. There we go. So these are, their envelopes are slightly smaller than the first ones. They're the smallest one there. And I'm gonna put them together like I did the other ones. I didn't create liners for these ones. I'm just using the papers as is because I'm gonna fill them with little stickers. So we just get them all flattened and secure. I love the six by six papers um, from, that Doodlebug creates because they are actually reduced by 50% the size of the prints. So they work really well when you have smaller pieces like these cute little envelopes. You're not getting like one giant heart halfway in the middle of your thing. Okay, last envelope. I decided to make a grid card. I love a good grid. That's how I like to scrapbook. Um, and grids are back. So I thought I would do a bit of a grid card. 
The beauty of the graph paper is I can actually center things and align them with a minimal of problem. Not my usual, is this straight? Again, I'm only putting adhesive on the body of the envelope because I want the flaps to kind of be a little free to get, show some dimension. Top two done. Put on the bottom two. There's one. Get it down there. I want the flaps not to overlap. I want them to be a little freer. There we go. Right there. And last one. I've decided I wanted to fill these envelopes with some cute little icons from the mini icons and the icon sticker sheets. Mini icons, they usually have two or three sheets in each collection, and they're full of great stickers for um, planners, scrapbooks, cards. I'm going to start with this cute little bear holding balloons. And I'm going to tuck him in an envelope, or her. I think I'm going to do some foam squares. I love foam squares. They always add just a little bit of dimension. And the little papers stick everywhere. That's the one thing I don't like about them. Stick them in there. And now for my next one, I'm going to look through. I really am doing this real time. I haven't decided what I want to put in here. Um, lots of cute icons. It makes it very hard to choose. So I think I am going to do from the regular icon stickers... This cute little snail and get some pop dots and I'm going to put a cute little snail in a different envelope. Tuck them in. There we go. Now what am I going to put in these two? Like I said, I really had not decided before I did this video. And I think mm, there's so many things to choose from. It's so hard, and they're all adorable. I love the cherries, the rainbows, little cups of coffee, or it's bubble tea. I think I'm going to use a little elephant from the mini icons. There he is. He's got a heart. And I'll put some foam dots If I can get it off, technical difficulty. Do I tuck him in? I think I'm going to put this guy on the outside. And he needs another foam dot. I usually use a powder tool behind my stickers, so it makes it easier to work with them and place, but I have no idea where my powder tool went. It's lost in my craft room somewhere, so... We will be dealing with stickers. And there he is. Put the other one back on. And stick him down. Okay, one more. Not really sure. Do I want hearts? Is there another critter? Let's see. As I said, so many to choose from. And I think I will go... Maybe hearts? No, I'm going to look on the icon stickers and I'm going to take the little birdie with the cute little heart envelope and stick him right there on that envelope. There we go. So now I've filled all my little envelopes and I'm just going to put a sentiment on. Oh, you know what? I'm going to stick some more sprinkles on because they add a little shine and a little happiness. Put one on 
the elephant's heart that he's holding. I think I'll put one on the bird over that little heart on the envelope. And one more. Let's see. I'll put it over there on the bear. White one pops out a little bit. I chose a sentiment from the chit chat pieces. These are great. They're full of, I think there's about 80 in here. Sentiments, banners, speech bubbles. They're great for everything. And we're just gonna stick that right on the page oh, and maybe center it. You would think the grid could help. And there we go, done. And I'm gonna add one more little sprinkle to the end of this. And we are done. And here are my two cards. And I hope you've enjoyed and have a great day.